Steelers versus Panthers. Everyone's excited, everyone's got their chin straps done up. Corey Nielsen and the Nottingham organisation may not want to talk about last night's game, but we still do. A come from behind road win in a sold out NIC helped the Steelers keep pace with the Devils. And since Cardiff don't play tonight, there is an opportunity to close the gap on the league leaders. Zach Fitzgerald misses out following a hit that meant he couldn't finish yesterday's game and he joins Andreas Valdix on the injured list. The Panthers are missing Dimon, War and Clark through injury themselves and Mika Vickman is also out. He's back home following a family bereavement. So Henry Passel starts in goal. He's lost all three of his starts against Sheffield with a goals against average over seven and a save percentage of just 83. Ratchuk. Didn't quite get the pass where he wanted it. He's able to twist himself out of trouble and this is where he can use his skating skills. Buckle slide all the way around to the sealers, fed into the crease, and it's been knocked in! Dowd has scored the opener! What a star for the Steelers inside two minutes! The crowd are on their feet already, and it's Robert Dowd who moves on to eight for the season. Steelers trying to play way out of their own zone. Oh, and then a hit from behind. That's going to be a penalty on the Panthers for sure. Oh, and going back in for extras. Jeff Brown has got himself involved in the heat of this game already. Franson sticking up for his teammates. Brown will get the takedown. But he's got a lot of time in the penalty box coming up. Really did look like it was a check from behind. Darnell spotted it immediately. And Brown, who was involved in an altercation on his last visit here, Nelson waits down low, Hagos finds him. Hagos again. Out to Freta. Moved across, one-timer comes in and it's there! The big blast! It looked like it was tipped on route. And they all go to congratulate Nelson in the corner. Once again, the Sheffield Steelers strike early and often. They're two up inside four minutes. Power play was patient and ultimately successful. Schultz thought about the shot, the Steelers are quick onto him and then the pass is given away and the Steelers will try and transition. Feel they've got good skating speed in this side. Hagos. Steelers moving it around nicely, one timer, top corner, how about that one? That's fantastic from David Phillips. He doesn't score many, and he won't score many better. 3-0 to the Sheffield Steelers. So Lindhagen sits for two minutes for hooking. Steelers scored on the first power play. Gave up a penalty early in their second, so one for two. And they've got five against four here in the early stages of the second period. That shot is tipped aside. Back to O'Connor, shot through traffic, save made, it's behind and in! Passel couldn't get back in time, and the Steelers have another power play goal. And the second period is picking up exactly where the first left off. That shot hits Ferrara and goes to the corner. That shot again is blocked, Phillips in the way this time. Schultz. Allowed time behind the goal. Steelers don't want to vacate their positions. Sneaking in is Sertic. His shot is blocked by Ferrara. And this one is blocked by Phillips. Gets his shoulder in the way. And now Ferrara can feed Armstrong. Armstrong tried to snap one on goal. On the end of the legs of Spang. Nice pass out. The Steelers set up the one-timer and score! Hammered home by Ratchuk. And the Rattlesnake has made it 5-0. Opportunity for the Panthers, paid it back across and they'll score. Lovely feed across from Brown to McMillan. And the Panthers finally have something to cheer. Simple play, Mustakoff's well beaten by the pass and McMillan had all the net to shoot for.
Lee. Trying to get the puck out of his skates. And the drop pass takes the Panthers back into neutral ice. Centering pass intercepted by the Steelers. And Nielsen's out of the box, and he'll try and get involved in the action. Shooting chance taken! Whoa, with the feed. And another Steelers goal for Ratchuk. Trailing the play and picking his spot. Zertic forward one final time for the Panthers. Backhanded off the end boards, cleared away by the Steelers, and a comprehensive victory for the Steelers against the Panthers once again. Three times they've hosted the Panthers in League and Cup. They've scored eight, seven, and now six. They won every period. The Rattlesnake is the Steelers' man of the match tonight. He scored goal five, and he scored goal six for the Sheffield Steelers. It takes him to five for the season. He's very quickly become a very, very popular player here. And now he gets to do the eddy. The stick is gone, the gloves have gone, and now the shirt's gone. And I don't think there's going to be a lot left by the time he's got back round. We've never seen an Eddie quite like that one. It's been a special night for the Sheffield Steelers. Well, Paul, you've uh, you've sent home close on 7,000 people very happy. That was just a stunning performance. Yeah, yeah, we played well. We executed really well tonight, and uh, we wanted to get them on, on them early, and we did that. We had a great, th you know, great first period where we we really did control the play, and uh, pretty much from there on in, you know, it was a it was a comfortable win for us, but. Uh, Good weekend, you know, to go into the NIC yesterday and win. You know, it's not an easy place to go. It isn't an easy place to go. And uh, we got a good win there. And then, then to follow it up with a, another stunning home performance like we put in tonight was, was very pleasing. You say stunning. And in that first period, some of the hockey that we played was sublime, wasn't it? Yeah, we, we work hard. I keep saying it, you know, we work hard every day. And uh, we practice what you see out there. I mean... Doesn't just, it's not fairy dust that comes down and makes us do what we do and you know what the boys put in during the week, you know, and the, and the effort and commitment that they put in shows on the ice on, on the weekend and, and it did this weekend. So, uh, you know, outstanding weekend. I thought Dowdy was, was, was phenomenal. I thought that was his best weekend of the year. I thought he really did uh, grab the game, both games, by the scruff of the neck. And Ratchuk get two goals, two big goals. Davy Phillips gets a beautiful one timer tonight. And, uh, you know, we, we spread the points round and uh, other guys step up and do the job, but, you know, to the man, I thought everybody was excellent. That Davy Phillips goal kind of summed up the whole night. The build up was outstanding. Nottingham were chasing, and then the finish was, was just exquisite. Yeah, yeah, it was. We, you know, we had one breakdown on their goal where, we, you know, we didn't read it right in our trap, but uh, they executed well for that. But, I mean, it could have, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm overjoyed that we won 6-1 against our, you know, local rivals, but it could have been a few more as well. We missed a couple of backdoor empty nets and I think we hit four posts tonight. So I think that tells you the dominance that we had, you know, for the 60 minutes. That's one of our games in hand, if you like, against the Cardiff Devils. Huge weekend next weekend, uh, on the road and, and away from this building. But you can't have a better preparation for that weekend than what you've gone through in the last 24 hours. No, we got a, we'll, have a, we'll have a tough weekend coming up. But we know, David, we, we're not looking at, at where Cardiff are and how many games in hand. We, we know what we've got to do. It's, it's not a sprint, this thing. I know it's an old cliche. It's a marathon. And uh, we've got to chip away, chip away. If we want to get to the top of the mountain, we've got to chip away and climb and climb and climb and climb and worry about us. And uh, we've got another big weekend. There's a lot of hockey to play this season, but we're going the right way. And I'm enjoying, you know, working with this group and, and with, with Jerry and, because every day we test each other and, uh, you know, the results are showing that. So, it's, uh, you know, Belfast are a tough team. They're a good team. They're a highly skilled team. That's going to be a tough game. And then to have back-to-back -back away games with travel on both of them, and playing flights on both of them, it's, uh, it's going to you know, be a big test for us. 
Just one final thing, just at the end of the night, we, we mentioned Jonathan Phillips' testimonial on Tuesday. He got an amazing reception there. He's so well thought of in the fan base, but even more so, I think, in the, in the core group of, of guys here. Just, just explain briefly to us what, what it means to you to have a captain like him and, and what he does bring to that dressing room. He's just a, he's just a class individual. He's a class person. And, he, you know, and he's a, he gives me everything he has every single night. And, he, you know, and he's the glue. He's the glue in that room. And, uh, and I, said, I just said to him, you know, this is Jono's week this week. And, uh, you know, you've got some old friends flying back in. You know, I saw Munner and it was good to see Leggy back again. And, and Tolbert, I mean, he used to give me a heart attack. It was I like looking at them three on the ice today thinking, thank God they've finished, you know. Uh, from my days in Coventry, but I said to John, enjoy this week because it's actually a celebration of your career and your career for, for your club. You know, this is his club. And uh, sometimes you don't take it in. And I remember someone saying that to me in my testimonial about 100 years ago. They said, just relax and enjoy it and understand everybody's here for you and to support you. And, uh, and I really do hope he, he takes it in because he's had a fabulous career. He's had a fabulous career here and he'll continue to do that because he's a, he's a great captain, leader and person.